Hi there, my name is John and I work at Sparkbox. Sparkbox has been researching and comparing a number of different accessibility tools in order to help developers choose the best tool for their situation. In this video, I'm going to go over the Wave browser extension, a free tool that received one of our highest ratings. In order to get started with Wave, you'll need to search Google for the Wave browser extension and click the link that reads Wave Evaluation Tool. Wave is a free tool, so the only step you'll need to take here is to select Add to Chrome and then click Add Extension in the pop-up. Now you're ready to start testing with Wave. The site I'll be using to demonstrate the Wave browser extension is a site called NASA Astronauts. Sparkbox designed this site to be intentionally inaccessible in order for us to test our accessibility tools. To run Wave, all you'll need to do is click on the icon that should now be available in the Chrome toolbar. After running, Wave will generate a key that shows you each of the issues it has detected on your web page. In order to find out more about each issue, you can click on either the View Details button or the Details tab, and then click on one of the icons to see where the issue is occurring on the page. In taking a look at the results, we'll see that Wave notes that there are only 7 errors and 10 contrast errors on our site. While this may seem like a low number, Wave believes in facilitating and assisting the user in the evaluation of potential accessibility issues as well, which you will see defined as alerts. Once you open the Details tab to look at your issues, you may click on the eye icon to the right of each error to take you to the Reference tab. For this reason, it is important for the user to check each of these sections when running the tool. This tab will give you more information about what the issue is, what is occurring, and how to fix it. At the bottom of each icon's reference information, there is a link where the issue is defined on the WebAIM website. While WebAIM is a reputable source, it is important to verify that their information is up to date with the WCAG guidelines. When it comes to the Wave browser extension, some of its strengths are that it's free to use, it provides robust feedback using its icon system, and it's very quick to set up. As far as the limitations, Wave must be run on each individual page, and it may require the user to make a judgment call on certain accessibility issues. While Wave can be a great tool for teaching, it may not be the most effective method for someone who is brand new to accessibility. Overall, this tool is a great choice because anyone can use it. It provides quick and thorough feedback and will help teach users more about the problems they are encountering. Looking for more accessibility tools? Check out our playlist with more accessibility tool reviews. For a full breakdown of the Wave browser extension, look for the Foundry article linked in the description below.